Hi, I'm Steve with Vast Data, and today I want to give you a quick demo of a new feature in Vast Uplink called Prediction. So Vast Uplink is our cloud-based portal that lets you manage multiple Vast clusters in a single pane of glass. We're also collecting telemetry data to better support these clusters. So what we found is that now that Vast is enabling you to store exabytes of capacity in a single namespace, the old ways, the human ways of managing data with tools like DU have become cumbersome and slow. Answering questions like how much storage will I need at some point in the future become difficult. So this is why we've taken that telemetry data, combined it with some machine learning to give you much greater accuracy for predictions in the future. Let's go ahead and click on that prediction tab. And what we're gonna see here by default is a view of a month of history of your system. You can see we've got a big spike back here. And by hovering my mouse, I can see the growth and, and deletion of data over time. As well as just important, I can now take a look at our prediction based on this time window of where we believe we'll be in the future. So the idea here is that you are able to now take this slider and adjust it. So let's say if you want to include more data from the past, you can adjust this slider to the past back into, say, early January, as well as being able to take this future slider and move it all the way out for a year. So this is going to answer that question of how much data will I need to buy and at what point? So let's say you want to dive in a little deeper and understand which of your projects is the busiest. Let me go ahead and jump over to another tab. And now I'm going to click on this folder view on my 202 cluster. This is going to expose to us which folder or directory is the busiest in the system. And keep in mind, while I'm using the term folder or directory, VAST is a truly multi-protocol system, which means that all of this data can be presented over NFS, SMB, or S3. Getting this view lets me see that Sven is actually you know, using the system quite heavily, had a big spike back here in uh, early February. And we can go ahead and adjust this time slider a little bit further back if we want. Again, we're using machine learning on the fly to adjust our prediction. And it's no surprise we can see that, you know, given our time series analysis, we believe that Sven is going to be a majority user of the system here. We may want to talk to him about chipping in something for the budget. So this is just our first foray in using machine learning to help you better manage your system. We're really excited to hear what your ideas would be. So please reach out and thank you so much for watching.